we've loaded a part that already has all of the operations done on the part itself, including the milling operations. We have the turning operations complete. Also note what we have also going through our lower turret, changing turrets as well. My back spindle to, we have our front spindle, our main fixture, and we have here our back fixture for our back spindle as well. All of the operations were created already on this part for the milling over here, for the threading, for the turning, for the undercut grooves, for this surface milling, for this HSS milling over here. Everything was done. What we'd like to do now is just show you the machine simulation on this entire part. So we'll start by going into operations and running our simulate using the option of machine simulation. Now, as you can see, we're running on the integrus as I showed you before. You can see our turret over here, and later on we'll be switching it to our back spindle over here. We have our upper turret with its B-axis, and we have here our lower turret, and we'll see how all of these work on this part itself. We'll start the simulation, I'll start this slow over here, and as you can see, it's starting with the turning of this area over here, and note that there are, there's a holder over here. We now support holders as well of the STL type. This is important to actually be able to check, have a complete check of if there's any kind of crash within the part itself. As you see now, we're turning this area over here. The entire part is being turned. Let me zoom in a little more. Now doing this area over here, finishing up this area. Now it's working on the grooves as shown over here, and now this same tool will switch around to work on this groove over here. This is with the capabilities of this B-axis, which allows this to be done, so you can use the same tool as well. Now we're using the lower turret to groove out this area here as well and to drill out that hole. Now we've gone back with the upper turret to get that angle over there. And now let me groove into this area, and you can see that we're actually milling out on the face itself. We move this a little faster, and you'll note that now when I'm milling out on this, on this face over here, the end mill itself is moving on the entire part itself. This machine supports the movement of this entire mill to go all the way around to this side. In our next operation, when we do the finish, you'll see just the opposite. The mill will actually stand still in one area while the part itself turns back and forth in the Cortesian fashion. As shown right now, you can see how the part now is turning and the mill is standing in its place. So we support all of these type of operations. Go a touch faster. Now when we finish this, we'll be going to our next operation, and we'll see that in a moment. Now we're actually doing a simple pocket here on top, as shown over here, but the walls are at an angle. So in this particular pocket, at the end of it, we'll be seeing how it works five axis simultaneous, where we can actually do this part on a mill turn, also using five axis on the part itself. We'll zoom in over here, and now we're gonna slow it down, and we'll see exactly how this works. You see the tool now is at an angle, simultaneously moving around to the other side, and then moving back. Now, the next operation, as you see over here, it's drilling out these holes over here, and working in this area, doing that thread. As you see now, we're working now in the second area over here. It's now in its back spindle, and as we zoom in, you can see now it's working on this surface over here. We'll get to see as much as we can of it. And this is using the HSS option of the milling in solid cam itself, working inside that area. And you can see the 
Milter machine is doing exactly what we want it to do. When it has all the capabilities, we might as well use all the capabilities. It's exactly what we're doing now in the Milturn. Momentarily, it'll finish that surface over there. And next, it'll start milling out these surfaces, clearing, making us a, a surface for that, and also drilling out those holes over there on those surfaces. With that, we've completed this entire part on both sides using the back front spindle and the front spindle and milling it as well, getting a complete part with one setup.